Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I did a video this this morning, and somebody had some clip art, and it is terrible. It won't trace where the flip. So you could draw this, and of course, mine not be as good as theirs, but it's pretty close, and you can have some fun with it. So I just took a an ellipse, didn't hold down the control button, and just made an ellipse. And then I went to object and converted it to a curve. And then I, whoop, then I grabbed the shape tool and I made that a cusp. And a cusp allows me to stretch out different, so we don't want this thing particularly perfect. So I right click, convert it to a cusp and just kind of stretch these things out. Pineapples aren't perfect. Then, how do you draw this part? This part pretty fun and easy. Take an ellipse tool, and I'm gonna kind of put one in here and kind of get the size that I want. And you can, you can play around with this and find out how much artistic ability you have or not. So we have an ellipse about the size that we want. We're gonna control D and we're gonna make a duplicate. We're gonna move that till it's just barely touching, and then control D quite a few times. Now we're going to take the weld tool and weld it. Now I've got a bunch of circles. Now I'm going to take the shape tool. I'm going to select that node. I'm going to right click. I'm going to put break apart. I'm going to take that one, right click, break apart. I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete the top half. I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to go to contour. And I'm going to contour the outside with square corners, 0 0.03. And I get this shape. I just realized my my circles aren't perpendicular to the, to the being straight edge, but it doesn't matter. Go and break the curve apart. Take out the center line. And there you already have it. You have what you need. Bring your circle in. Let's straighten this guy out just a little bit. Double click on it and get the rotation. Doesn't really matter. That's even worse than it was. And then just bring this in. Bring this into your shot, into the pineapple, control D and make a duplicate. But this time let's move it over just a little bit. Control D, control D. We're getting too close to the edge over here. So we'll move it back. We kind of want it in the center. Control D, control D, control D. We'll do one more, but we'll move. Don't really have to, that's fine. Then, let's just move this out of the way for a second. Let's set our nudge distance on four inches. This is over six, so let's, almost six, so let's set it to six. So use the Smart Fill tool and use the left arrow key to move it over. There you have a pineapple shape, or at least what I would call one. And then once you've got this shape, you can grab it all and you can tweak it make it narrow or make it wider, whatever you want to do. So later today, I'm going to make one on how to make these leaves. And then that way you have a good, crisp, sharp clip art. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.